doing here? It's, it's been a while since I've actually done anything over at my house, as I called it the other day. Um, no, we've been, um, been blissfully being a player and um, just chilling out on other people's streams. Um, mostly playing Coriolis, which is really cool. I've been very, very much enjoying it. Uh, Mercy of the Icons, part two, the last Cyclades with, um, with Matthew and Dave and Tony and Adib, oh, Paul, there we go, over on the Effect YouTube. And then um, a little bit of, of the Sherazad, the Sherazadi, Sherazad, I can't pronounce things. Um, Shirazad Protocol with um, Ben and the Garblag crew on, on the Free League Twitch. It's all really exciting. Um, I think I've played more as a player in the past four or five weeks than I had ever in the year before, which is really cool. Um, but uh, the deadline is fast approaching on the 2nd of Feb. I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be running the campaign on the channel. And I don't know whether I'm um, I'm bigging myself up too much and just being a little bit cocky or or justifiably terrified of what's about to happen. Um so better do some do, do some prep, eh? Uh if I let's see, here we go. Alright. So, um, the last time we did some prepping, it was, we were going through, um, the, the first act of, um, Emissary Lost, the Mysticides, because we wanted to put, um, Nur's timeline in order, having watched, um, having watched some other actual plays, the, the, the searching for for Noor and the timeline that comes with it is quite um, quite important. She um, you need to have the days nailed down for that kind of player, um, and I know I will have that kind of player. So so that was what we did last time. Since then, kind of gone through it, made it look a little bit less um, chaotic highlighted some things to remind myself and um, that's about it really. Uh, I did toy with the idea of making this look like it came from the book, the book, but then um, decided not to. Um, this is really only, only for me um, and so it doesn't need to look fancy and fun. Since then, at the end of that session we were thinking about like how can we tie how can we tie the players how can we give the players a hook or how can we make Nur important to them how can we maybe tie it to um, Last Voyage of the Rizali and give them a, a thing to care and one of the things that I stuck upon because my players have decided that they are going to be smugglers that's their their group concept smugglers um, so we decided from then that we would somehow tie um, Sabitha who is a smuggler that features in the last voyage of the Ghazali uh, we would tie her to the players in some way and through her they would be connected to Nur so it's like this sort of webby thing of, of stuff creating a slightly bigger world around them rather than just like the kid okay just like them or we don't go on an adventure um so so in between then i've been sort of thinking about um what has become this document and this thing didn't just like i didn't just bash this out in 10 minutes um and although the typos in it might make you think that um, so this this document this starting player info is is just one a4 long at most 
and it kind of sets the scene because I, I the the campaign starts like the mysticides where are we if we look at this one so the mysticides the starting scene if we find it is in the attack and it starts it starts right in in the chai house in madam chari's chari's chai house uh full on what is it n media res as they go and um very little kind of moment to to spend spelling it out also i'm aware it's it's on stream so whereas we'd all sort of get together and we'd chat about things and um they'd ask questions like what what does what do i care we, we need to have it kind of set up before then otherwise um it just gets a bit confusing it drags on i'm very conscious that people are going to be watching this this is not like a normal a normal game where we just mess about so i wanted to put this together and this is kind of like our our session zero our scene setting thing so it, it it's sort of written as a train of thought um and it it kind of sets some some stuff out tries to use the the terms of of the setting tries to make it kind of i guess you could have a a voiceover narrator kind of thing so so this all began in the segment of the gambler when there was a distress call from the town mining colony the colonial agency, subdivision of the consortium that runs all affairs with the colonies of the Third Horizons, gathered the largest rescue mission in the history of Coriolis and offered serious hazard pay. Many fools signed up for this ridiculously dangerous mission, including your captain Sabitha. She told you folks, wait here on Coriolis, um, and she had a side gig going that would cover a lot of the ship debt and pull in a few favours too. But it was typical, high-risk, high-reward style of Sabitha. She couldn't make plans and bribes for everybody. Sit tight, enjoy your month, enjoy, that should be enjoy your cycle. Thanks, thanks for catching that, folks. Um, enjoy your cycle or so of relative luxury and check in on the kid now and again. Now it's nine days until the end of, oh, not a cycle, segment. Now it's nine days until the end of the cycle. You've been stuck on Coriolis for six bloody segments. Apparently Sabitha died on the rescue mission, which the Red Spider News Network reported to be a total shit show of an operation and never got to Tawan to rescue the bloody colonists. Colonial agency won't pay the hazard pay because of course, or of course, of course, there we go. I did mention there was lots of typos in this, didn't I? Of course, she used an alias to get on board. The net won't release your ship, the, uh, the Kutap Badila, without its captain. And even if they would release the ship, you don't have enough burr to pay the fees. You have no proof that Sabitha died on the rescue mission she wasn't even listed on, so you can't get access to the, any, any of the money you know she has stashed with the Havela across the horizon. And there's no way to get to them without a ship. At least the kid, Noor, isn't too annoying. You've checked on them a few times. They're, the one of, uh, they're at one of the universities on Coriolis. Seems Sabitha paid up the tuition till the, after the last profitable job you ran. Seems she cares for the kid a bit. And they'll probably have a better life than their mother. Checking in on Noor also means Sab Sabitha can't pull the rug from under you if this is some sort of long con. She'll call in on Noor eventually. Now the kid has sent Zellian a weird message. Meet them at Madame Shari's chai house in the Optra at the start of the next shift. It could be that Sabitha is using the kid to get to you. Could be any one of a bunch of folks who don't like you using the kid to get to you. Or it could be the kid in trouble. There's only one real way to find out. Um, so, yeah. Um, so so that's our sort of starting starting pitch, if you will. I um, feel like it gives them a couple of reasons. Either they like the kid and this kid's now lost their mum. Um Either they don't like the kid, but the kid is the key to getting a lot of money. 
either they just want to find out what happened to their captain and she's the only sort of clue they have you can all kind of go from there so that that's my hope also thinking further ahead to to this one up here to the to the part two if they're still looking for what happened on on the Rizali and that kind of stuff they might be the sort of folks who will go hunting for emerald discs of ships um, so thinking ahead there's there's at least Sabitha's got the the hook in for that as well so that's our that's our pitch that's our, our let's go um, Zellian is one of the character names uh, we have our three characters I know what they are now we have um, Zellian who is a merc we have um, Kishar who is a spy and then we have let me just check um, what their name is um, no wrong chat so many chats so many chats um, um, Carvus who is a preacher um, it does feel a little bit like we're going full firefly does feel a little bit like we're going full firefly here um, but part of today's prep part of today's prep is because I have trapped their spaceship out in the net which is this the the, the remnants of of the the ship that became Coriolis really hard to get to and I've stripped them of all their cash so so they don't have much going on here they're not rich the cash is all sort of stuck in Havela around the the horizon I've kind of taken away a, a base or a, a place for them and um, again riffing off the effect guys riffing off Matthew and Dave um, I want to give them them some sort of oasis some sort of place to, to hang out some something that's a safe place a little bit like the Tales from the Loop um, what is it? Tales from the Loop hideout, that kind of thing. Now, I'm not going to promise them that I'll never bring chaos to their home, and I'm not going to promise them that um, everybody there will like them. But I, um, I want to give them some sort of safe place where they can just kick back and talk comp conspiracy theories, and Zellian can dismantle his gun. Um, stash stuff, hide people, you know, that kind of thing. So, let's open a new document. Um, what I asked was, was what kind of place would you like? Do you want a bar? Do you want a workshop? Do you want a cantina? Do you want a restaurant? You know, do you want a gambling house? And they, they basically then decided to riff on Star Wars. And they want a cantina with a with a band, um, so why not? Why not just go go for everything? I think one of them needs to wear a a, a red shirt at all times. So we're gonna have we're gonna have some kind of cantina. And the reason I've got the core rule book open up today is because actually at the back here, I wonder if the, the bookmarks are going to let me um, campaign down here. And the reason I've got the core rule book is down here somewhere, there is a nice already written cantina. And we're just going to, there we go, Wahib's canti cantina. And we're just going to riff, riff off this, I think. Just sort of have a look at what, what the, the book. I don't need to invent the wheel or reinvent the reel. We can just we can just have a look through here. Um, maybe even just use Wahib's cantina straight off the page, if I'm honest. Like why do I need to why do I need to use or reuse recreate something? But it might be nice to 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 personalize it change some stuff um and add in some things so they've got a nice little map here there we go that's wahib 
there are some vents that can happen in Wahib that we probably aren't even ever going to use. Um, and that's it. It's what, so it's one, two, three, three pages in the map. Um, so there, Wahib's is on a ground floor of a residential building. Um, we need this to have rooms. We need this to have a place for them to stay. And I don't think Wahib's does. What, are they, what has it got? Uh, an ante room, a main room, a booth, a bar, some chambers for the owner, a kitchen, a storeroom. And that's it. Yeah, all right. So our one needs to be, our one also needs to have some, some rooms. So perhaps it's not just a cantina, what is it like, Wahib's boarding house? Wahib's, I don't know, we'll think of the name. But we just need something here that, that's, that's for the fellas to think so. So what are we calling it? Um, can't spell with the O-A-R-D. Right, we're going to call it Mira's Boarding House. I still can't spell B-O- B-O-A-R- Oh my word! Friday morning spelling is bad! Alright. We're going to call it Mira's Boarding House and Cantina. Yes, yes, I'm naming it after after Mira Fulan. So so sad to hear she passed away today. So much B five is going to end up in this this um, Coriolis game. I think so much. If I can call someone a moon faced assassin of joy, that will just um, just be delightful. Um, so um, so Mira's boarding house and cantina. Need and in there. Gosh, that's where they're. That's where they're going to be. That's that's the. Oh, a, a mawa. Good call. Mira's mawa. Like that. Thank you, Gen Two K. So that that's that's where we're gonna be. It's a nice little bit of serendipity there. Um, so so there's got to be cheap boarding houses, and and I think either they can like we've got we've got a preacher, we've got a a, a merc, and we've got a spy, or maybe an operative. That's the last kind of character that we might have to have to sort of tickle. Um, that's that's not been finished yet. So, so the three of them either, like, I can see the, the Merc just being a bit of, like, a bouncer, a bit of a threatening looking fella who, um, who keeps some of the ruffians away, or the wrong ruffians away. So we can kind of gloss over him being, being paid. Um, I need to chat with, with the, the preacher. Maybe Mira just likes him. He's a preacher down on his luck, and she'll, she, she's a good person who will um, help some folk out. Uh, and then our, our spy, Kashar, um, I don't know, we can, we can gloss over that. Mira at least likes them a bit. She's sympathetic to these, these folks. Maybe we'll ask the players if... Um, if this is this is the first time they've had to rely on Mira's gener generosity. So what are the what are the info in the core book are they they giving out with with here? Um, so if I zoom in, is that going to mess up? 
what you see at home. No, that's not too bad. So it's on the ground floor of a vel uh, noisy, full of people. All right. V I E overview. So it it's a small three levels. Smallish, medium, three levels is not. Well, it's on Korea, so I'm going to call it small. Small three level. Oh man, B U. We're not writing the word building. Uh, that's just just gloss around that. Small three levels. Um, its front goes out onto the promenade. Or just, is it off the promenade? Do we want, do they want to have a... Yeah. Just type and let Google correct this. Google suggests the correction out. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I'm just too, too conscious that folks are, are going to judge my lack of spelling in the first past. Um, yeah, very small, very cramped rooms. Um, I like the idea of... of um, the preacher and the merc having to share like roommates that that if they could get to the ship they'd have their own room and i wouldn't have to put up with you and all your guns everywhere i like that idea but that's just me um that's just me forcing stuff onto players which we should re we should refrain from uh, at least to start with um Oh, that's zoomed in too far for you guys. Um, um, why are you flashing, OBS? Oh, you're not. You stopped. Okay. All right. Fine. Panic then. Panic then. Thought we were crashing. Um, so it's a small through three levels. Cramped rooms. Um, but clean, yeah? She runs a, cre a clean boarding house. Um, um, we'll say it's just off the promenade. Hey, Malkavian. Um, welcome. Come join us while we lurk. Spoilers for Mercy of the Icons going on here. We're, we're just making um, a hangout, a, a base, a, a refuge, an oasis. Many, many words. Right, so, so it's small, it's three levels, it's cramped but clean. It's just off the promenade and we can put it wherever we fancy around the ring. Yeah, the ring of Coriolis, isn't it? Um... What else? Um, what else do we need? Um, for the overview. What else do we need here? Um, so need to decide I don't think it's gonna be that busy I think the cantina will be busy like in my head in my head I've got two bits here so she's um, she's got the the Mawa where folks board and then she's got the cantina where do you know um, the the sort of place where for a really cheap amount of burr she will serve you big hearty meals but it, it it's not it's not fancy 
it's just you know the equivalent of like um big cheap cheap bowl of scouse and by scouse like um broth like stew so it's got some sort of broth load of vegetables load of like cheap vegetables potatoes and carrots and that kind of swede and all that kind of stuff shoved in bit of meat and you can get that every day um it does sound i used to love eating scouse um dumplings yeah dumplings i had one of those never-ending stews so every day there's a stew um and you can pay a you can rock up at, at between between like what would it be Hey expert, welcome along. We're prepping for um, we're prepping for Mercy of the Icons campaign for Coriolis. So um, please don't tell James or Martin anything if you should chat. Um, uh, so yeah, one of those never-ending stews, and you can just rock up any time in in what would it be in Coriolis, like second shift, and from the start to the end of second shift, she serves this. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, start so, so from the start un, until the end of second shift, she just serves never-ending stew. But if you are a moment after um, third shift starts, you don't get it. To go away and come back at fourth shift for whatever she's serving for for supper, or she might not even do that. You only get supper if you're in the boarding house. Yeah, all right, so that's the cantina. And then in the evening, in the evening, she she tends bar. She just chills out. She tends bar. She has staff. All right, so that's... Yeah, I think I've been there before, yeah. That's the sort of place. Like, she... So we'll update this. We'll, we'll add in cantina. Um, cantina... Um, all of second shift. Oh, serves food. Cheap but filling. Dumplings, stew. Same food every day. No variety, but she's not catering to folks who want variety. She's catering to stevedores and um, merchants who, you know, folks who have finished working over the last two shifts. Anybody who just wants a big bowl of food, no questions asked for as cheap as chips. Cheap as, cheap as bear, best filling food, same food every day. Um, if you arrive, if you arrive early, no, if you arrive af in third shift, No food. Um, and if you're a slow eater, like she, she, she's not, she's not happy with you taking your time. You've got to shovel this food in your face and get out. It's, it's heaving in second shift is the idea. Warm seats. Any other time, and I think it is open any other time. Almost, maybe it closes first shift. You, you get warm, warm beer and strong spirits. Need a reference to the soup Nazi from Seinfeld? I have never watched Seinfeld. So I only hope 
that soup nazi is a reference that's safe for work um but i will i will research it afterwards jonathan pay i will i will go and have a look um strong spritz thanks google um any other time warm beer strong spirits oh uh mootbot is it mootbot i can't remember what what bot i use they do not enjoy your um your link but i will check in the i'll check in the mod panel later on um so so where are we up to where are we up to War, warm beer strong spirits um they want a band to be here they want a band that was what they asked so so the band what runs from runs third and fourth or does she just rent out a room to to wanna be rock stars oh my gosh if there's a band they might have met Althea before that's a thing to think on because Althea was a lounge singer wasn't she let's just have a look at that let's just think on that Thea sang here right let's just read let's go and find out about Althea um, starting the attack Althea zoom in a bit and have a look over here aspiring proxy star and hunted mirror mystic um, Althea is not even 20 years old and already faced problems that make a regular teen angst look like a flea bite uh, a year ago a life changed forever as hidden supernatural powers began to manifest with disastrous consequences during an audition for stars of Dalim game show Althea became so nervous she made the entire balcony fall uh, full of influential entertainment hosts collapse by sheer force of will um she made Althea wait. Okay, so yeah, she is. She might have sang there. They might have known this kid. Did they introduce Althea to Nur? Why is why does Althea need if Althea knows them herself? Why wouldn't she just message Uncle Zillion? They might know her. They might know her in passing. It, 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 it at least makes her... Yeah, all right. Althea maybe sang here. Maybe it makes Mira sympathetic. Mira collecting all these waifs and strays uh, to hide, hide Althea out, assuming she gets that far. <gasps> right, she, yeah. With her dream, dreams of her careers in film shattered, she'd begun as a singer in shady bars from the glamour of the entertainment places of the Mukla. She Her parents are dead. She lives in a simple module in the Sea Bazaar Central together with her uncle Len. All right. So, so Althea might have sang here. Um, they have a house... house band house band um, third through fourth shift wow we need a name for this house band I'm not calling them the Bith band we need to make some quick googles should we what was we got another we got another babylon 5 reference we could sneak in here in mira's mira's mawa um what could we let's have a think 
Um, are there any bands in Babylon 5? Oh, rain. Go away, rain. No, I can't think of any. Right, we'll think of the name. We'll come up with a name. Maybe they can name it. Althea sang here. Um, what else do we need? Let's go back and see what else sort of stuff we we'll um, put. Um, so this is the description of the place. I mean, we could just pinch this. entering yeah we we might just we might just lift some of the descriptions here and not have to do the heavy lifting myself um the main room i think the main thing there will be a big a big table in the middle of the room like one long table and at one end mira will put the stew and a stack of plate and a you know there's your stuff, sit down there, eat, you've got three minutes, you know, go. Um, so yeah, I think we'll we'll lift, probably lift a chunk of this, but the main room changes. Main room. Include a long table. What else do they do we need? Yeah, shitty TV, some some secret circular booze, Not secret but yeah. Obviously there's a bar. Obviously there's a bar. Um Biosculpted parrot. Nice, Wahib to spy on folks. Um, overview. Oh, sorry. There we go. Is that all right? Overview. Um, um, kitchen. All right, we kind of know the kitchen here. Um, kitchen. Only open in third shift. So, God. Get what you're given. It's a get what you're given kitchen. She would not, not be very good when it comes to, I, um, I'm vegan. I'm vegan, gluten free. Mira, don't do that. Um, storeroom, yeah. Back alley, yeah. Um, so we won't be able to use this map. I've just just made us not able to use this map. Mind you, there's the big. What is five on this map? The bar. That's the bar. I mean, you could. This could be the area you come in and sit and stuff. All right, maybe. Um. This is some blurb about the... Alright. Last stragglers just before dawn. Yeah, yeah. Um... The waiters here, three grandchildren. That I like that. Mira's kids. That's how it's so cheap. She has uh, family labour. Um, might run a picture of um, 
of Mirafuen through a, a couple of couple of what am I trying to think? Photoshop filters. You might be able to get a similar style, surely. Can't afford to commission uh, a portrait of that. Um, um, we could probably just just take those um, those standard stats and and adjust them. Um, stream elements. I have no Sirenscape on. Gosh, you can tell it's a while since I've... Um... So let's just copy that. Is that how you do it? Copy. Oh, copy with formatting. Oh. No, I don't want to... I don't want to take a screenshot. Copy with formatting. Go home, stream elements, you're drunk. Um, so... Mira. Let's put this in capitals. Mira. How did we spell that again? Mawa. Um. So, Mira, um, a woman who, I don't need to say that because it's obviously, oh, how did they describe him again? Mira, okay, Mira is an older woman with a lot of grandkids um, she runs a strict clean Mexican restaurant <laughs> Mawa, um, and a popular cantina um, um, she's easygoing and sympathetic to uh, lost causes, um, but not so simple. Pathetic Ooh. to the Gro Coriolis guard or the tax collectors. Yeah. Hey, Kashar, Kish you're clever with computers. You must be cleverer than my uh, my fourth grandson. Uh, could you could you fix my books they show that I should pay a lot of tax and that's wrong you fix my till yeah fix my uh, my burr transactor um oh I've missed I've missed an hour out of Coriolis oh good job Google he's learning all my stuff and he learning all my stuff is Google um, all right, so she's older woman, a lot of grandkids, runs a strict, but oh, I need to put a butt in there. Bukli Mawa and a popular cantina. Does Mawa need a capital letter? I'm not sure it does. Um, she's easygoing, sympathetic to lost causes, but not so sympathetic to the Coriolis guard or the tax collectors. Do we need anything else about her? Really? Um... It was rumoured she was an ambassador in her youth. Yeah. Um, clam, she's a clam. She's calm. What else? Um, 
I like the humming. Clam, humming laughter. Um, noiseless listening. Um, I have a feeling she's going to turn into a nanny og style. She'll never remember her grandchildren's names, but she'll remember everybody else's. It's kind of thing. Oh, my daughter-in-law. Uh, their second kid and their third kid along works there, along with Simon, who turns up. Oh, maybe when you cross her, she's like um, Christian Avasalara. I could not swear that bad. I would not be that eloquent when swearing. Um, great. At Yeah, swears so bad she makes even the ex legions legionnaires um, blush. Just blunt, just full up, blunt. Yeah. All right. So we've got a little bit of stats about her. We've got we've got some stuff we're going to riff off in here. What else have they got? And got. I don't think we need any. Um, yeah, probably will use other swears. I I think a couple of the players will get a kick out of that. I send them some PDFs with with some some stuff. Um, I don't think we need any um, NPCs in this place. Like the the notable patrons are the players. I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make characters characteristics up for, for any of the staff, the grandkids. Um, cause they're gonna like I, I get the feeling that we're never gonna have the same couple of bar staff tie twice. Do we need some names we do, probably need some names for the band. But um But again, I don't think we need to make any any characteristics here. Um Don't want to get them sidetracked with adorable PCs. No. We want them to think um Althea is adorable and Nur that we um might never meet is adorable and we want um, them to to interact with the interact with the story, um, not get sidetracked on shopping missions, which might happen quite a bit, I think. Um, yeah, Streamlabs is a little bit enthusiastic today. I'm gonna have to go and dial that back a bit. I think um, we don't need any events in here because I think they'll probably bring their own events. Um, the menu at, at Wahib's. Um, oh, there's a table for inspiration. Um, where is table 6.2? Let's find that. Let's get some inspiration. Uh, is it down here a bit? Oh, no, that's a ship. All right, let's, um, let's zoom out. Let's find a table somewhere. Because I've got a feeling control F and 6.2 will just get us. Oh, it's under gear and equipment. Thank you, Jonathan. Um, Six point two. There we go. Aubergine stew. I, I had a feeling 6.2 would probably have gotten us through a lot of 6s and 0.2s. Um, aubergine stew. She just serves aubergine stew every day. Sometimes it's got some chicken in. Sometimes it's got some lamb in. Sometimes it's got chicken and lamb in. Just aubergine stew. Um, uh, what else have they got on here? 
Or moussaka. That's all you get every day. Just moussaka. What kind of moussaka? Today's moussaka. Just enjoy. Yeah, I like that. Where are we going to put that? In here. I'm just going to copy that word there. Copy. Oh, thanks, Google. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll do it that way then. You could just boo. All right, that's exciting. Moussaka every day. Um, how much does it give a price? Like, she needs to be sh cheap. Module. It doesn't give prices for. doesn't give prices for food. What does Coriolis count? All right, so living expenses, primitive, ordinary, advanced. Is that per day? Am I getting too sidetracked here? I think I might be. Getting too sidetracked. Focus, focus, stay on target. Let's go back. No, wrong thing. Let's go back to our campaign. Yeah, I'm going to get stuck in economics. We're just not going down that route. Reverse, reverse. Flip, 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 flip. There's the valley. There's Wahibs. She's cheap. She is Spartan in her rooms. She's the one of the cheapest Mawas in the district. Wonder where, where should we se seat her? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Wherever we are, it's fine. We'll be in a cheap district. Um, it'll be it'll be easy peasy. Um, and we're just gonna we're gonna lift overview. Um, yeah, yeah, somewhere on the ring. Definitely not in the core. Uh, we've got a map in here that we can have a look at. I think there's one in Emissary Lost. That's easy to find, she says. There we go. So, yeah. Um, if we zoom in a bit. Yeah, somewhere... Which plazas have we got? Which... Meet the ozone. A1. So this is the... This is the big old promenade that goes round and round the core. Round and round the... Round and round Coriolis. And we'll just... We'll just stick it... Where does Aram Yatha live? Sit. He lives down here. And there's not much... There's not much. So we could just put them in P2 and th P3. Spice and Market Plaza. Are they pretty cheap? No, I think Spice Plaza is quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, near Stevedore Central. Good call, Gen TK. Where is Stevedore Central? Five. Zero five. So somewhere up here, somewhere up here. Near what's that? Near the Spice Plaza. Somewhere up this way. Yeah. Near Neoptera. Yeah, near the spaceport. Yeah. Good call, folks. Good call. Um. Yeah. Not far to walk. Near doesn't need a capital letter. Near central. Near uh, near space port. Near spice. 
the evil essentials but yeah there we go thanks very much are you gonna is that spelt right need to double check how you spell neoptra spaceport um no wrong page is, is it written in here copy Why is Spaceport got a wiggle? Alright, there we go. There we are. A double N now. Double N. Neoptra. Um, so yeah, it's over there. It's over there. Near the start of the game. Near the thick of it. ready to go is madam shari's on here no it'll be in the it'll be in the spaceport won't it bs1 that's where she'll she'll be right there just there see right okay mira what else do we need for this now what else do we need We've got our owner, we've got a location, we've got a kind of concept for it. In all honesty, that document over there, like if I lean back and go that one over there, is pretty much it's pretty much all we all I'd need in a game. Anything else after this is just fancying it up and making it look fun. Um, I have a preference to do that kind of thing because quite often it stops them knowing what I've thrown in and what I haven't and I always wonder and worry if players will if it doesn't look like it comes from the, the core but of the adventure it's not in that style they'll work out it might be They'll pay more or less attention to it because I've made it and it might. So I have that worry. So I might make this look like it's, it's this. I might, I might go in and do some shenanigans and make it look like this rather than like this. But in terms of, of information, I think we've got enough enough going on here to actually service what they need. Um, we know we're going to just copy these extra bits. Do we need a map of it? I don't think we do, but I know some players need that extra visual thing. So, I mean, we could just relabel this. I mean, she's got, if we scroll up a little bit so it's not, oh, oh, too far, reverse. We zoom in a bit and we scroll, that'll give us an easier scroll. So I'm, I'm all for like this big long table but she's got plenty of places to sit really hasn't she like one of these could just be like which one is the kitchen seven so this kitchen here you deck out the bar with a big pots of masaka bowls dishes at the end you've got a grandkid who who serves out some food we change how do you get upstairs i don't know there's a door here or something there's a there's a door you go in through the kitchen there's another door for the for the mawa there's another door must be a yeah so you go into the mawa through the the alley door there we go i think we can just steal this this map it's got a pawn shop nearby it's got a pet shop what's that up there all right so we're gonna we're gonna just completely steal this but maybe turn it our own where does the band play wherever they want wherever they're not annoying 
at one of these tables. What's the three? What does three? Is that just the name of a room? The main room? They just play in the main room. Just chill out in there. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to just, just borrow this. This map, this will do. We might just change some names. I don't think we're going to need it. Do we need anything else? Do we need anything else? Mm, no. I think we did it. We spent an hour and we're done. Anything else is just... Just tarting it up, making it look good. Right. Um, let's take a moment to think through everything for where we're going to start. Do I have any homework for myself? Um, bookmarks. Wake of the Martyr. Um... Um, we should probably just read over over combat there's a spaceport so yeah alright so my homework is maybe maybe tart this up and share it with the players have this ready for them so they know where they live um maybe maybe fix a bit of the map so it's i mean we'll see how we feel i'm not a i'm not a fan of mapping every inch about it because everybody then gets really excited and really but the map has a has a plant here so i'm gonna throw it at the bad guys yeah no that's not happening um and we're done move over here you don't need to see the stuff anymore it's all good um i don't think there will be many more prep sessions i don't think there's any time to prep we're going to play in we're going to start the campaign in what let's have a look where's the calendar in one two Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna start the campaign starts in eleven days time. Eleven days. Tuesday, second of Feb. Eight PM twitch.tv forward slash free league publishing. And I think we're good to go. <laughs> you wanna clap? Clap emoji. Maybe, um, maybe we'll we'll add that in. I don't think we have. No, no, never mind. But yeah, let's let's give ourselves a round of applause. We're prepped for. Um, we're prepped and ready to roll for. Oh, there we go. Yeah, little uh, little little owl there. Um, Prepped and ready to go for Mercy of the Icons. Holy moly. That's, um... That's great. Yep. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for your for, for the shouts and the inspiration there, folks. Um, and I will be back. I'm back on Sunday. We're back on Sunday. We're playing a bit of Dungeons & Dragons, Baldur's Gate, Descent into Avernus. We are just about to leave the Dungeon of the Dead 3. We still haven't got to Avernus. We haven't, we haven't descended into Avernus. So if you're into Dungeons & Dragons, it's worth popping along. Um, we're still nice and early. And then um, after that, I'll be over on uh, YouTube with Effect. Doing a little bit of Mercy 2. Murdering people with a little, little jungle hobo. Murder hobo. Right. Muff folks, I'll see you on the internet.